Hey everyone, it's Vicki Brown from Messy Table Studio here with a new project. I was watching a video from Book and Paper and her idea was to do a third, she already did it, it was for the month of August. And she did a 30 day journal in a very small little book. So I decided that I would do it for the month of September. I made my book out of a Sausalito cookie bag from Pepper, Pepperidge Farm. I had just eaten the last cookie out of the bag. I thought, oh, that'd make a cute cover for a book. I don't have to really do anything. Um, I did film a video of the process, but it, I was editing it, and it was so painful to watch that I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave it. I'm gonna delete it. Nevertheless, this is a very simple book. It has a three-hole pamphlet. Yeah, three-hole pamphlet stitch. I used some washi tape to hold some things together here, and I don't remember why I did the washi tape. Anyway, so this is the Sausalito cookie bag. Um, so this is, I found some paper in my drawer that was vintage-looking bookkeeping paper. And I cut what little I had of it. I cut it down into two pieces and glued one piece on the inside cover and one piece in the back cover. The only thing is, is when I dated them the other day, they only go, it only goes up to September the 28th. So that's two days shy of, you know, the whole month of September. I'm going to leave it. Or maybe I will put something with washi tape in here and do a flip out for the last two days. Anyway, so um, I've used washi tape to... X out people's names that probably I don't know if they want their name in, involved in this so I'm trying to avoid getting yelled at later <laughs> so my first day it just so happened that I started the book was a friend's birthday and this is about her birthday and what we got her for her birthday the second one is um, somebody started a knitting group on Facebook Messenger and we get together and we talk about knitting and some art things. We do it once a week for an hour. That's about it. So this was me talking about, this picture is what I painted is of the um, computer screen. And it was about knitting. This is a small hank of yarn. And this was supposed to be knitting needles, although I don't think I really, I probably should have outlined them in a black marker or a black pen of some sort because they're really hard to see. Um, let's see, the next day I worked on making miniature books for Artemat out of scraps. Um, I was thinking, it says here, I'm thinking about trying to make 50 for Artemat someday. They're Coptic stitch books with belly bands. So there's the belly band across all three of them. They're all different kinds of um, paper that were in my stash. A lot of them were my jelly prints and uh, block printing and I so I wanted to use up my stuff and the next one is I had a chat and this is what it looked like because it's blah 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 you know it was a lot of talking I mean like six or eight hours of it you just can't isolate one thing because it's all really weird the next thing is I was sitting here drinking my coffee and I thought what on earth am I going to talk about today my life is not that exciting. I mean, we have exciting moments, but for the most part, there's a lot of lull in between them. I was sitting here looking at my coffee cup, and I thought, well, let's try to paint a coffee cup. I'm trying to do everything in watercolor. I may or may not continue with that, but so far it's going okay. And I whipped out some gouache that I haven't used in, geez, a year or more. So I thought I would give it a shot. This is an exact cup by uh, Cheryl Zip. Bag Bagolini, Bag Bagolini. Um, she's an artist, and I ordered this cup, I don't know, two or more years ago when she was selling them, and I, this is my favorite coffee cup to drink out of. I love this coffee cup, um, and this is, this is after I drank it, I drink two lattes in the morning, and it leaves the, the foam, leaves kind of crusty stuff around the edge, so this is my coffee cup that I love. The next day, I did all kinds of stuff. I worked on the mini books for Artemat. I painted some, and I also did a little bit. Oh, this is the the thread that I used to bind the books. That's what this is—the thread to bind those books. I bought a 
massive amount of it off of um, Amazon, and so I'm slowly working my way through that inventory. Then the next day, we d I decided I had to go to a Joann's to a yarn sale that had been mentioned in the knitting group previously on a Monday. And I went there, and I was very disappointed because they didn't have what I was looking for. Um, so I went to Joann's, and Joann's is right down the shopping center from World Market. My husband went there to get some lychee fruit. We drove to Michael's parking lot after that, and I sat there, and I thought, you know what? I don't need any more yarn. What am I doing? <laughs> so we ended up going home. It was just a day to get out of the house. Yeah, it was kind of a waste of gas, but I needed to get out of the house. Sometimes you just need to get out of the house. All right, so here is... I was only going to do a week at a time, but I'm, I'll catch you up with everything. This is my supplies that I use to do the Artemat little books, the glue bottle with the little green head pin that I constantly lose on my desk because I use a green mat sometimes and it just kind of blends in. Um, this is my, I think this is a Fisker's Cutter um, X-Acto type knife blade. And then I made some more books. So I painted the books. Then we did a chat group again on Monday and I was working on a baby afghan and it's top, this is the baby afghan. It's um, seed stitch for the border and the rest is like um, knit, pearl, knit, pearl to give it blocks. I finished the two rows of 20 vertical stitches and got to change my color to white yarn. It's hard to do the white um, on here, but because I use dirty green water. <laughs> so there is my little 30-day book caught up. Today is September the Tuesday, September the 10th, and I will continue going. So it's been kind of fun. I'm very surprised that I have kept it up this long. I really didn't think I would end up doing it for very long, but I'm finding this very interesting. What I'm also finding is I really am boring. <laughs> All I do is knit and make little books, drink coffee. That's <laughs> all it is so far. Hopefully today I'll have something more interesting. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, well, probably not. <laughs> all right, so that's it for the book and paper 30-day journal. I will continue and I'll come back, I don't know, a week and 10 days and then give you the next group of um, days that I do so you can see what I've been up to and see that I'm hanging in, trying to do the full 30 days. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.